So in our last video tutorial, we discussed what is an identity in mathematics. The video link of the tutorial is given in the description box below. Please watch it if you haven't watched it. Now let's talk about some standard identities. So this is first standard identity that says that if a plus b whole squared, then it is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, now let's see the proof of it. This is a plus b whole squared. So this is basically what? a plus b multiplied by a plus b. That is binomial multiplied by a binomial. So this is a multiplied by a plus b, then this plus sign here, this b here, and then this is a plus b. This is a squared, this is plus a b, this is plus b a, this is plus b squared. Now this a b and this is and this b a are two like terms. Why? Because b a that is b multiplied by a can be written as a multiplied by b that is commutative property of multiplication. So if you write this b a as a, a b then this is a squared plus a b plus a b plus b squared that is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So this is the proof of, so this basically this is a plus b multiplied by a plus b is what? a plus b whole squared, right? So here is the proof of this standard identity. You have to remember this when we'll solve some problems, you can straight use this identity there. This is the second identity, standard identity. That is a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now, this a minus b whole squared is basically what? a minus b multiplied by a minus b. This is equal to, that is multiplication of a binomial by a binomial. Let's rewrite it. So this is basically a plus minus b and this is a plus minus b. Now this is a multiplied by a plus minus b and then plus sign this minus b then a plus minus b this becomes a squared then plus minus a b then plus sign this becomes minus b a then this is plus sign this plus sign then you have minus b multiplied by minus b so this is a squared now this is minus a b and this is minus b a so minus b a can be written as minus a b so a squared plus minus a b plus minus a b plus minus b multiplied by minus b multiplication of two negative numbers or here variables it means that it will be b squared minus multiplied by minus that is plus so this is a squared minus a b plus minus a b means minus 2 a b so plus minus 2 a b plus b squared and if you open this bracket this is a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared so basically this is a minus b whole squared is this much right this is the second identity of standard identity remember this when we'll solve some problems we'll use it and you can use it directly this is the third standard identity this says that if a plus b multiplied by a minus b then this is equal to a squared minus b squared so if you solve it this is a plus b multiplied by a minus b then if you rewrite it then this is a plus b multiplied by a plus minus b and if you multiply this this is a multiplied by a plus 
minus b and this is plus sign here this is b multiplied by a plus minus b this is a squared plus minus a b this is plus b a then this is plus b multiplied by minus b so b multiplied by minus b this is a squared then this is plus minus a b plus this b a can be written as a b plus this is what minus b squared why because b multiplied by minus b means minus 1 multiplied by b so this is minus b whole minus b squared now this is a squared plus this is minus a b plus a b two like terms therefore we'll add them together and here outside the bracket is plus if you open the bracket this becomes minus b squared so this is a squared this becomes zero a squared plus zero minus b squared and if you further solve it you get a squared minus b squared right so this is a proof you can also you, you can use this one too in a problem directly now the last one is it is an it is a general identity it's not a standard identity it's a general one so what does it say that if x plus a multiplied by x plus b then it is equal to x squared plus a plus b x plus a b so remember here you have x plus a and x plus b here you have three variables till now whatever we have seen we have only two variables but here you have three variables and it is in of the form x plus a multiplied by x plus b this x is common in the two these two binomials this x variable is only common variable in these two so let's see the proof this is x plus a multiplied by x plus b so if you solve it you get x multiplied by x plus b this plus sign here a multiplied by x plus b now if you solve it you get x squared plus bx plus ax plus ab right now this is x squared here you have ax plus bx let's rewrite it by rearranging it so this is ax plus bx commutative property of addition that is a plus b is equal to b plus a a plus b is equal to b plus a that is that's why we have rearranged it and plus a b now this is x squared if you look here this x and this x is common that is these two are actually like terms so if these two are like terms then if you take this x common then this is a plus b x and plus a b this is basically what a x plus b x so if i take x common so this is x a multiplied by uh, a plus b and this can be written as a plus b multiplied by x that is the commutative property of multiplication so this is the proof of this general identity and you can use it in the problem too